be no black folks and we're going to go to this video because I'm going to show you what I missed when uh, I put the video on and the I, IE idea exactly is that we are going to see a object triangulation or some kind of mass as we watch there is going to be a trail and you can see it here okay there's the trail okay that is a trail because watch this I think this is the object here there or okay you, you just know that we always have those planets in the morning right that are there but watch that there was actually and go watch this video there it is okay so it's hurling through our upper atmosphere or in getting it or we had something or it's a set one of the satellites but since it's like looks like a kite okay it is something very amazing because the idea that either that or and if we end up seeing something that you know whatever then I'm sure that I will be getting in touch with by the US military or something but check that out okay because this moves on that video and you go back and watch my video I just showed you the name of it I don't even not gonna bubble up on words but you will see this here tetrahydrin or whatever it is and as you also see that V there okay and that V there but the idea that there was a trail you can see the trail of it here now is that part of what we end up seeing down at or is it another part and then we've got incoming something and it may be the supergiants. Who knows? All I know is that it could be a satellite. All we got is we got an anomaly. Okay, uh, we have an object. Uh, Military-wise, you would say UFO if you were in a pilot in a plane or something. So we don't believe in UFOs like Martians and crap. So this is an object. So what is it? Uh, it's definitely not light propagation from space and if it is then it's black and then it causes a trail as you saw that trail and I can think I can back up here on the player and I'm gonna hit play again this is the off right off of my YouTube flick but I missed as you see that trail was there okay so that object every morning that we end up seeing is a space object see and then it ends up something goes toward it We've seen those objects, and as you see that triangulation out there, but there was a trail that went towards it. So, an object, comet, meteor, asteroid in our atmosphere, through the Big Bangs, Big Bangs, like I say, goes toward that. So, go and play that video, and you will see this there and then there is a jet trail that goes to it pure and simple jet trail goes to that object the trail will come in here just like if a satellite was falling down to earth or something or a comet something went by so that was the date of the 13th I guess that was going on that video that was the video I pulled down of November 13th November 13th action folks all right so, education, learning, and sharing here, folks. There's the title and the address. You'll just basically punch that into the title, and you should be able to find that video on YouTube. And if you can't, then they're censoring me. So I blow up one of the uh, pictures on, and you'll see the debris that's up in space. That's not from, because you're going to see some of these bubbles that are going to end up showing that this material, okay. But things bump in to, like, you know this is material that's near. This is all the sun, folks. Material of the surface supergiants main sequence that the Sun is in the supergiants main sequence and as you can see this other material down here that doesn't get squirted out from the Sun it's the idea that it's the Sun is up there in the supergiants main sequence and we'll show you more on Lasco 3 here and from behind and we'll all show we're gonna go right now to showing you where our Soho I found my it magically reappeared into my where I had my links at so I eat to stay out of the supergiants because the sun is going into the supergiants and we follow the sun. The Sohos are not directly straight across from each other to give us the front and back shot and they have to stay back to stay out of the debris of the supergiants. So also look at the direction of where Mercury's at and it does show up on uh, all the Soho shots and the idea that it's becoming re relevant that possibly with uh, like 
legal terms, the structure and the amount of data that is piling up, that the factual data piled up like a legal case is showing that the idea, i.e., the exact that Mercury is there. Now, earlier on the shot that you're going to see from Soho, Saturn wouldn't have been visible because it would have been directly behind the Sun even more. So, when you're getting a shot from behind the Sun, you're going to see Mercury and the idea that it could be Mercury that's on fire. And the very much relevancy of it is the position there that it could be Mercury behind and on fire and left our Soho shot from behind. Either that or we have lost a lot of footage because the latest I could get yesterday was 1600 hour. And i.e. this shot's upside down. That super giant's brightness over here. This is this brightness, this light is not the sun. This is the sun's brightness going towards Earth, okay? I.e. your map. Sun's light comes towards Earth here. We also get Rigel Cantaris B, which we don't know what level that these are on because the idea of the sun's in the well in the hole, okay? We all get sun from it. Mercury would be the closest, so it is a good chance that it could have caught on fire. I had people tell me that, but I don't, still don't. You know, we can't scientifically until NASA or some scientific organization says, yeah, Mercury got it so close. It's such a big flame. It's coming off the sun, but they don't want to for world markets, food, and all kinds of money action and everything like that. Well, scientifically, more than likely, Mercury might be on fire, got a blast. It probably has in the past scientifically also and been known to because it's one of the closest objects that's near the sun. Okay, now we have the levels of the height that on in stereo of every planet that's in space. So you got to remember that the idea that the sun is in the hole shoots light to the earth. We are earth. Sun is in the well. Mercury's there real close. Okay, those are our satellites A and B Soho. As you see, the supergiants is back here behind the sun because the sun's going into the supergiants. Now, is it down low? Are the supergiants? It would make sense the idea since the sun is going into the supergiants that even though Rigel Cantaris B is still a hell of a long ways away from it, it's in, it's in front of the sun, but it's at such a high level or a low level, these are all shelves in space. This is the orbit of Earth, the orbit of Venus, the orbit of Mercury. Now, the, in the future is what Venus going going to be the first thing that would be into any kind of material of the supergiants, or if it can even get into the supergiants, is the idea that will it catch and get a flame like, i.e., exact, i.e., exact, like whatever we have on fire or object there in space. Okay? Stereo B core 1. And we've seen this stuff before, in and out, in and out, because it they rise and they fall. Uh, Mercury and Saturn, I do believe, without looking up, have a rise in a set. Okay, So we know this is supergiants here. Let me give you the other Navy shots, the idea that you realize, and this is the most recent Navy shot, and I've got it blown up a little bit, and there you go, there's the time. This is supergiants material here, i.e. you do know that they show you this shot upside down to the public, so they don't realize what the hell is going on with stuff. Okay, So we have seen that comet leave that has left Soho's region of where it was filmed at. And it should have been more than likely uh, B behind. And it doesn't really matter either one because both of these are going to give us a behind shot of the sun right now. Okay? Both. So even though they're A and B, they have to stay out of the supergiant's material. So we believing that A and B are up here on our shelf on the play, that the idea that the supergiants are up very high and the sun is very deep in the hole and that would make sense because we have Rigel Cantaris B come up in the opposite direction of east on earth okay it comes up from the east in our horizon on earth okay so remember that when you're looking at the feel every one of these planets is at a different level on a record player or in like a cake level okay so Mercury more than likely could very much be that object right let me scoot over here right there in Soho very much could be mercury on fire from a blast from the Sun or a combination of the Sun and the supergiants and let me show you the photo that I had to reassure you that quickly at the very end of my last video I was showing you the fires and the idea that we do know that this is not fires that NASA said on this photo that they show on their site of the satellites showing fires 
Now, yeah, there might be these fires. Who lit them? All over the place. Well, is the sun that damn hot? Or And that damn hot because no matter what, that is east to west, folks. Rotation of the earth. Rigel Canteris B and the sun and the supergiants, okay? So what's causing all the fires, folks? There's not a bunch of arsons out there, okay? This is the sun and the supergiants, okay? Something's up scientifically. So as far as I'm concerned, we love weather modification because when you don't get this here, nat natural or made or propagated, you get this fires, okay? And you know that that was chemtrail there. Or, yeah, we were just putting the fires out, right? Okay, I believe that one. But they're saying it's smoke. Okay, it was smoke, but it's not coming from any of the hot spots. As you see, that's not smoke trail because there's not a fire here. Fire's over there. So they must have missed a dot, right? Right there, chemtrails or what? So big ass whatever the hell leaves and goes away and we get very solid good action down there on our axis, okay? I.e. the pole, South Pole, Antarctica, okay? So and it's storming down there, there was cameras really blocked out a lot from storm action. Just normal, typical Antarctic weather of a storm, okay? Otherwise, the graphs, as you can see, are very calmed down, okay? Very calmed down. So I, no matter what, the one element of Lovejoy, which... Like I showed you originally, and you remember what they showed you, that the original shots that the guy in Australia got, that this was all blown in at a 1,000%. Of I pulled it off of uh, what Soho had given Helio server. Okay, So the idea that Comet Lovejoy was way more than one item, and the idea that that very much more than likely was mercury, and it caught on fire. And they don't want you to know that it was mercury on fire. Who knows? Because no matter what, mercury is no more on the Soho Navy. There, it's not there, it left, and that's super giants there to the right, and they do always lie to us on the idea of the direction of this shot here. They've got it upside down, that's super giants to the right. Keep in mind, this was today's shot of where they are, and they're going to pretty much stay there because they're going to keep on getting that scientific data there, okay? You know that jet propulsion can put those satellites anywhere they want in this, and very fast because they can travel real fast through orbit in space, zero gravity, okay? Those satellites can haul ass, okay? And maybe it takes a long time too, but the idea they're positioned here to stay out of the supergiants material that's back here behind the sun and where the sun is at because the sun is in the supergiants, okay? The sun is in the supergiants and Mercury is basically more than likely caught a flame from, er, from the sun or from Milky Way or also the supergiant. So earlier this weekend, these shots of our supposedly supposed to be Comet Lovejoy is more than likely Mercury on fire possibly quite possibly because of the size and where it was at and so forth does not make any sense for a comet all of a sudden humongous to show up and the idea that the sun well then someone's gonna have to explain and show us another shot in space that that comet is still this goddamn big because we know how big the sun is and the idea that that comet's got to still be out there in space so let's see some shots of that damn comet otherwise someone's gonna have to fess up and say mercury got a blast from the sun all the scientists have to do is explain to everybody how damn far away this stuff is, okay? And that basically, they're going to have to fess up because you ain't going to be able to block all the Rigel Canteris B and all the other stars of the supergiants, okay? So, it would th you would think in the future with the grapevine and everything of everybody talking, that there's the supergiants, folks, more than likely, because there's the sun in the supergiants. And there's nothing that's all this cluster that's this goddamn bright, okay? We do have our Milky Way galaxy, but more than likely we are the Milky Way of the galaxy back here, and we are melding with our asteroid belt, which is outside beginning of more than likely the supergiants, because the supergiants are the only damn thing that's that damn sh bright out there in space, okay? And there they showed us that that was Mercury, that's Earth. So Mercury's out there by that big gigantic flash. So something hit something and something got something on fire. So either that or another, it's another smaller planet in the same pretty much orbital period of Mercury. So we'll find out. I put legal, legal disclosure on here and hopefully the next video that I'll give you will be of the chemtrail of today on Sunday. So talk to you later. Be no blackout for now. Sup the sun is in the supergiants. Rigel Canteris B is what we see down in Antarctica. And it's all factual data. So... We'll have more soon. Uh, got time here just to basically blab. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. And we will see what happens. And the Earth 
is doing just fine as our graphs are down on earthquakes right now. Legal disclosure.